on overpass. Getting to see Simple in the server alongside Electronic, who's had a couple of mares recently. Want to see if the player that said he can be better than Simple can maintain the consistency of that very same. Let's jump in. Na'Vi starting on the CT side. Simon on the attack. Let's get into it then. Day 15 on the road to Rio finds it with Na'Vi and Simon Gaming. And it's going to be the... Oh, Vata starting on the CT side here. So uh, we'll see whether they can get going. Uh, Pistol will be underway. So thank you so much for bearing with us. We'll have a look at the buys as they come through. Neil and the in-game leader with the PG50 armor combo, also known as Superman, and it's Boomage with the Diffuse Kid and a couple of flashbangs here. Now, we do expect them to head towards the B side of the map. Seems a very common approach here on overpassing this T-Pistol, but anything can and will happen. Let's see what kind of pace they plan to set. Okay, so 4B, one peeking fountain for info. This is a very common pistol strat for the CTs. It's all about number five, simple. He's been given the responsibility of call for info. He actually just doesn't overstay his welcome, so he's not going to be able to announce that four are crossing towards playground. This could work very well for the T side. If Neilan can keep the CTs occupied here, with his presence, we are cooking with gas. He needs to survive, though. They're all the way up long already. Four CTs. No one's got info. Simple still hasn't seen a thing. Oh, hello. Certainly has now. Simple will be up against a few players here. Three to be exact as they barrel down towards a long position. Simple is gifted a bit of a freebie there. And they're flashing themselves as well. We are going to see a bit of a nightmare. Simple does get the first couple of frags. He's bought so much time for the rotations here. It's a full commitment towards the A side. And the bomb should be going down here. We'll see if that's going to be the case. Norma patrolling towards Optimus. And Nina defending with that P250. This is going to be a tough one to defend. Flashes over from Boomich. He's got a kit as well. And they're taking so much damage. Closing the gap is electronic but he's found by Neerland. Another chance. Norbert squanders it, and Neerland's the last to fall. It will be a Na'Vi retake and 1-0. Well, I'm pretty happy with that from the See retake position. Burger Dam. I've been practicing my German. What does that mean? Is that I a mean, that's just, just an area? It's, just a, it's an area. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. just, just, just a name. Can't really I think translate Ber that one. Berg is, uh, is bridge, or Brucker is bridge, so I got that one wrong right. already. Your German is coming on quite nicely. I have it heard is, you actually. talking. I'm like, how's he done that? He's, He's done, done pretty well. conversations with yeah. people. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think I still sound like a, you know, a German chimpanzee. Yeah, but, but to me, it sounds fantastic. That's, like, I'll oh, take that. Very, Thank you, guys. Very attractive. Yeah, thanks for sure. So, uh, Simon Gaming will have the Desert Eagles. No arm up, but uh, we'll see what they can make of it. Remember, the bomb going down, and it was a very strong buy. They could have got a couple of AKs here, but I think this is the correct choice, Chad. Correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I feel like this team will have to be more tactical. Need all their equipment to take the likes of Na'Vi down. Yeah, I think getting the orb into Mo's hands Ooh. will be one of the uh, number one priorities, but so will dealing with simple because look he is still at the top of the tables in terms of stats within the cis region and if anybody had any questions if he was the best player in the world i think you know some of the form that he puts on it just answers it when he comes into the server he does it with flair with style he's doing the fundamentally sound things but he's also breaking the game so i, I just love it every time we get to watch him play just the three unarmored deagles remaining, and you can see that they've kept them at arm's length. They went for more rifles than you perhaps normally see on a second round buy, and that's just so they can take these lovely long-range favored fights. The deagle, if precise, certainly can hang, but already those two casualties Simple has caused likely going to be just a little too much to overcome. Kriaz, Neelan, and Norba, the dream team, setting themselves up towards the bomb site here. Doesn't look likely they'll get a kill, but this is absolutely fine. They're being very patient about it just to see if anyone will overstep the mark here. But Na'Vi, they haven't had the perfect run so far. We'll see whether they show a bit more discipline in this particular game. They are known to be a little bit too aggressive, chat. But like to Boomich, we, you and I haven't necessarily been enjoying everything he's doing on the server. Yes, some of these info plays that he goes for, it seems like they're not out of necessity, just out of Boomich, you know, wanting to go for a bit of a play. But if he can reel that in, if they can define their approach to the game, this team can get back to that number one slot in the world, I'm sure of it. Yeah. He's uh, shown us what he's capable of on LAN in Katowice. Oh, God, yeah. His swan song performance showed us uh, how powerful Boomit really can be. I had a really lovely moment with Boomit actually, in Katowice. Oh, yeah? After his uh, his victory, I, I, I saw him outside the uh, the hotel. I said to him, I said, Boomit, you were an animal today. Oh, and he said, yes, man, hippopotamus. <laughs> that, I don't <laughs> that remember that. The sweetest moments I've ever I seen. I loved he, it. He said it in such a he lovely way He had a huge well. smile on his face. Yeah, and I was like, what a lovely man. Yeah. Either way, we are going to be getting to that first Gun round of sorts. Na'Vi, they'll have a bit of a bonus situation with the FAMASs, the MP9s, and I'm sure we'll see a bit of fireworks here from the likes of Boomage. As we mentioned, he does like to get stuck in. As we'll have the MP9 for this particular round. Players towards short, and he makes a few footsteps. So, Norbert, certainly be inquisitive. Ooh, oh, look nice. at that molly. I, that's really quite cool. a very common position. I yeah. Think. Yeah, that could be directly beneath. 
That's the only way you're going to get it to land in that spot. If you think about it, it has to be dribbling down from the top. So Must do. Okay, that's pretty cool. But uh, let's have a look as to whether this default will find any success for Cyber Gaming. They've got simple to deal with. He's towards middle right now, and he's looking very sharp indeed. Only died once. Holding towards A. He has got a bit of backup, though, with Electronic. That's quite the dastardly duo, I'd say. Don't want to be running into that, if possible. Yeah, Green, turn the X-ray off. Let's go into the dark for this one. That can't have been deliberate nade. It, it went straight through the hedge. A little unfortunate for him. No X-ray. Okay, so let's live in the, in the eyes of Simon Gaming. Surely looks like an A finish now. Yeah, procedurally clearing their corners. They've got toilet space. That's Neil and who's taken that. So look at their limited nades. We've got two smokes for this. So there goes one towards the bin side. Kriaz has the other, likely when he gets it towards bank after their first frag. No information just yet. No fights being given. Flashing in. First fight found. It's Boomish hanging around that Optimus area. He needs to clear it. Kios does catch him, and that's the start. Another frag found. He got a 3v2 here. Oh, that electronic was there the entire time. And Kios, he's found them a three versus one now. Perfecto, the former Simon Gaming member, will be taken down in the process, and it will be their first round here. But remember, like I said, a bit of a bonus situation, but it still was costly. Na'Vi won't have enough to get a full buy in here, but they could go for an AWP if Boomage wants to drop that for simple, see if he can have high impact here. I would say take the eco at this point and just rebuild. They're going to have plenty of money going forward here. Don't need to force buy this one and uh, we'll see whether they're that way inclined. Yeah, it's still very early stages. Just see how the focus of these guys was to swarm the side and then not even allow them to set up for the retake. Going through the smoke, takes out Flame, you're able to pin Factor over towards the bank position, and that's good stuff from Simon Gaming. So let's see if they can weather the storm of the pistols. We know how dangerous these type of rounds can be. We've seen everybody from the best teams in the world to, you know, some teams who aren't on our radar either win or lose these rounds. They're definitely no longer a, a foregone conclusion. God, the simple AWP. It's, uh, it's the only prospect they have outside the Deagles, and I don't know how you're going to make that work across the entire map. I mean, admittedly, this boost is looking pretty fantastic for anyone that challenges short, which is for now, where two of them do lie. A smoke monster, that's the same Molotov, and yeah, very effective to stop the short close angle. So the in-game leader putting all of his faith in his star player here. Simple. It's towards the B-bomb site. He would need multiple kills here. Set his pistols up. He's booted at the very back. And here comes the commitment. The smoke's deployed. Norma to lead the charge through Monster. And Simple's ready for it, but doesn't pull the trigger oh, on the first. And he falls off before he can take another shot. He decides to have to go close quarters. A jiggle onto Mo. Doesn't hit the shot. Has to back away and respect the flame. And Simon Gaming, a successful take. There's nothing Simple can really do to contest this. Yeah, he might as well save the AWP now. It's going to be Electronic as the bodyguard. And that's two rounds now for Simon Gaming. A heavy investment there. Will lead Boomage to another MP9, unfortunately for him. His MP9 isn't as cool as yours either. Oh, I did get a nice MP9. Chad, you haven't even you seen it, bro. You guys went more nuts. Oh, I, I went full mental last night. Why? I had a bit of emotional breakdown. Don't really know why. Okay. Ended up converting my entire inventory to a full... He sold everything pink else. collection now. Every weapon, including gloves, the knife, my rifles, He's my pink. SMGs, my pistols, are all high-tier pink skins, back okay. to new stat track. So, Henry, you need to it put was... a tweet out. You need to say, I'm going to sell all of my CSGO possessions <laughs> and buy them in purple. <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually quite a look. I think I need to okay. get... I'm gonna, I've made my HUD pink as well, my crosshair pink. I'm pink in game on radar. Is it, have you played a game since? Yeah, we, we, yeah. we played all night He's, as well. We actually decided we enjoyed the game more with our new skins. And I've called myself the Scarlet Pimpernel now. Yeah. My new nickname on Steam. Uh, okay, a lot, so a whole a lot happened. All yeah. Right. yeah, you missed it. I yeah. call him Pimp for sure. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's pretty original. No one's really kind of done that before. <laughs> I so. know that you guys were watching the Elon Musk podcast at the he same time. He inspired me. So that, his, yeah. his, his breakdown inspired mine. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. Perfect. Well, you just have to have a kid and name it a bunch of uh, numbers <laughs> and letters, and then I think things will be looking pretty normal. Yeah, I think I'll be right back on track. Here we go, though, towards the short area. It is going to be a fast push in towards the B-bomb side. Boom, wow. it's the defender, and it looks great for him in terms of the lineup, but two kills against Na'Vi, make it four. Simple is wondering what the hell just happened in round number five there. He's got no chance of winning this one, and Simon Gaming are on their feet here, boys. They're looking ready for this one. Simple just doesn't get to contribute two rounds in a row. It's going to be a nasty feeling for him, too. Just hits into the B site. You're caught in limbo. There's nothing you can do if they die so quickly. Now, a battle for preservation less than aggression. Simple with just that AWP on his back, a USP to preserve and he opts for a tight corner on Optimus. It doesn't look like they're going to get too hungry on this hunt if they were to 
continue this push down long, there could be a chance that there is combat. Yeah, a flash as well. I've got a feeling Simple's going to be tested here. First, Norbert can trade, and he does. No warp for Na'Vi. That's actually huge as well. We just saw their attempt with the Simple and the 5.7s. So the AWP this time not going to be coming out at all. Oh, you're dead on there. This is looking quite good for Simon Gaming. Losing the pistol down 2-0, but they got the bomb planted. Bit of Skybox Entertainment Yeah, now. so check this out. On this fast B play, they actually dropped their own smoke to cover off the door position. This is something I first saw Pronax doing back in the day. So that means that no rotation or electronic coming through has to push a smoke if he wants to flank. He comes through, gets taken down with ease. And that was a key part of this B take, getting rid of connector, making sure it wasn't a concern. Yeah, good call on that one. That's uh, a very good one. Where, where are they throwing that smoke from? From spawn. Um, oh, so okay. it's, it's going to bounce off. Sometimes... Some some teams would bounce off of that very high bridge. Others right. would have different lineups. But I remember first seeing Pronax's team doing it. Uh, and, and I think it could have even been in one of his godsend stints. I'm not 100% sure. Right. It is a surprise that that's not more commonplace for B-takes, just because of such it's such a powerful flank if a CT goes fast underpass, yeah, swings absolutely. open that door. No, normally you have to have like a team waiting at the staircase yeah. right, watching right. those flanks, and now you can completely eradicate that and shut it down with a six-man in the form of the smoke. Pretty cool. And uh, it's going to be another eco here for Na'Vi. 3-2, and they've got P250s pretty much across the board. A couple of deagles in the mix as well, as you see Boomich boosted up here. But in these sort of rounds, you're, you're very aware that these sort of novel plays we brought out of this stage. You're going to be pre-fine those boosted positions. And Simon Gaming, I'm sure they're no different. Shouldn't be in any danger of losing this round, but you never know. One quick PT-50 kill, pick up an AK, the likes of Simple Electronic can make that work. Yeah, and it always makes me nervous when I see someone out and about on their own. It's Kios. He's trying to rejoin the squad, and he's there been caught out. Here it comes. An AK found, and if they just get one more Na'Vi, they can set and slow this down. A couple of chip damage done. The AK can clean up, but doesn't look like that's what's been achieved just yet. Simple, however, does still stand, and a specific shot was required right to the head of Neelan. Couldn't find it. Instead, looks like they've stabilized. It looks absolutely fine in the end, and that was a good call from Simon Gaming. The fact they lost that first kill, they knew the AK. It's been recovered, but it's top or middle. It can't have any impact if you commit all in towards B, which is what Na'Vi wanted, to be fair, but they had no armor, oh. so couldn't do much about it. Will be Kriaz with a lovely word there towards T4. Looks like they found all the kills required, and indeed, Milan confirms it. 4-2. Na'Vi, though, money's still a bit of an issue. After that, a hero sniper investment. They haven't really recovered since then. I don't know if they want to go for the AWP here. It's not required for sure, but certainly a high-impact weapon. Haven't seen much from Mo yet. Does he still perform at a similar level, Chad? I, do, I used to be very excited with him back in the day. The Hellraiser days, Gambit, yeah. of course, as well. I've casted so much of him, but about five years ago. I think they, they've definitely dropped off everybody from that Gambit roster, when you think about it, is almost... Major champion a, Mo, yeah. yeah. Exactly. They're not even a talking point anymore. Zeus is obviously retired. Uh, Dozier, we were saying, was playing for a team called Mustang Crew. A uh, Hobbit, we were talking about him just the other day as well. Adren, yeah, still going. Adren's still in VP. So yeah. the thing is, they're not stars anymore. Adren, when they won that major, was in some of his best form. You could even argue he was the best player in the world at around that period. So they've definitely dropped off. I'm interested to see if Mo has been able to uh, get any of his AWP form back because that major that we're referencing here, just seeing some of the stuff he was doing back then was insane. Yeah, I miss those days, man. Now it's all about the, the youngsters, the baby face killers. Uh, you know, I remember there was a time when I was thinking like, oh, the new generation. I wonder if Counter-Strike is going to be as exciting when the new names and all those ones we but know. That's, that's what's so great about Counter-Strike because it's a team game. You can learn from your elders, right? If you're talking about Quake, a one-on-one -on -one game, you can never develop your skills or learn. And that's why those games don't really thrive and bring in new players. And we'll see some of those names stepping up right now. Perfecto, he'll get the first kill towards Norbert. And this is looking much better for Na'Vi now. They've got a four versus three, plainly back into safer territory, but his teammates certainly Ooh. not. A couple of kills found once again, and it's going to be Simon Gaming with the advantage. Electronic, he'll still run away from Connector. A decent grenade towards the bomb site here, but still, I need rotations now as Simple will join him from the Connector itself. Good flash. Yeah, very good flash, and it converts into a kill as well. That's the bomb down, and suddenly, just like that, Simon Gaming are on the back foot. He is over pushed. Both of them double swinging into it does make it a rather easy affair, and AWP as well for Simple into the next, and a comfortable third. So far, what's impressing me about Simon Gaming's T side is... The little details, right? The Molotovs that you guys were excited about before that landed to clear off that close wooden position on the B bomb site. They have a couple of those that we've seen come on out here. Some quirky smokes, some different takes. And it looks like they've done their homework on the way that Na'Vi want to approach defending the B bomb site. A is obviously going to be a little bit more difficult. Simple's over there. He doesn't, you know, fall into the same tendencies all the time as what a lot of players do. Let's get this one back underway. Orp's still out. This is where we can really see how Simon Gaming are looking. Bonk. Yeah. 
This will wow. be uh, the, the first proper gun right now. Orbs on either side. We still have an MP9 from Protector, but still a viable weapon, especially in the positions he's playing there. You've just got to change things up a little bit. Flamey certainly is. He's pushing off towards short, seeing whether he can get some valuable information, but he can see that the pressure from Connector now. He needs to be aware of it, decides to pull back. And he does so just in the nick of time. Norbert flashes over. And a little boost now towards the fountain, trying to dismount silently. Doesn't really work out. It's like, you know what, let's just, get, just run off. Let's, let's all get good. started. Let's just get back to B, shall we? So, B execution looking very likely here, boys. Gonna have the smokes down and towards the bomb side, one towards heaven. Molotovs and barrels. And it's all about Perfecto. They can flush him out and get a quick early kill there. That's looking great. Speaking of which, that smoke is fantastic. Yeah. Just before they wanted to start their contact play. Yeah, and while that's 15 seconds is being bought, look at Electronic. He's about to call Fountain Clear. He can swing into party, say nothing. Toilets, the pre-fire from Flamey as that information's conveyed. Perfecto, lighting and wait, and he can just throw high rates of fire into that smoke. And look at the damage it's inflicting. Yeah, this is perfectly handled. Alex really enjoying this from Perfecto. You can see so much damage inflicted. No one's gone down from the Na'Vi side, and now they don't need to peek. They've won the round at this point. Keep whittling down that clock, wait for them to come to you, and simple. Showing a great amount of patience here. It's lovely to see from Na'Vi, they're being tested, they know this is an important game, and they're making sure they don't overstep the mark. Well handled. Loved that. That smoke timing truly won them the round. Yeah, that absolutely. As you can see how uncomfortable they were handling that. They knew they'd been rumbled. They haven't got control of any other parts of the map. They can't afford to wait around for 15 seconds. Someone had to commit, and they're greeted by the MP9. Oh. And what a boost that is as well. That finds the AWP of Mo. <laughs> a huge pickup in the last second Oh, he's of the after round. time. He's got 150 smackers. That's such a great call, Alex. Wow, I didn't even notice that. That's a oh, huge kill Oh, let's see that Simple. again if we can. Time ended, Simple boosted, and Mo was holding the short boost. He thought he was safe. Of course yeah. he would. Yeah, no one saw that one coming. That is massive now. Simple will find them the 4-4 scoreline, and no money for Mo. He's dropped the Desert Eagle. As we get into round number nine here, it is going to be AK-47s, but a couple of caveats in the mix as well. A couple of Deagles, one Galil, and barely any utility. This is where things could start to downward spiral for Simon Gaming. Don't have the firepower right now. And remember, pound for pound, heads up jewels. It will be Na'Vi winning the lion's share of almost every single encounter. They have to be more tactical <laughs> team. As I say that, though, a magnificent shot from Norbert. Yeah, pound for pound, you were saying, Hank. And it seems sure. like Nealon, he's been gaining a little bit. And he's actually recovered the rifle. I wonder if Boomich noticed that. He sees oh. the pin pull. There's so many targets. He does inflict good damage, but he leaves with just the one dog tag. That's maybe not enough. A four versus two. Simple needs one now. Misses his shot. Now smoked off. This should be another Simon round. How have they done this? All with the opening of a deagle right there, and they're able to collapse onto the B just bomb like site. that. It's clear where their focus is, and I'm curious to see how that is going to... Uh, force Navi to play around. Do you want to lean simple over towards the B bomb site and let Electronic solo A? How do they want to approach this going forward? Because so far, you're looking at Perfecto, Boomich, and Flamey. They've all died six times. So. Keeping that in mind, they're being bullied on this B-bomb site. They are, but let's let's address what they've tried. We've seen a double stack monster that worked, but that was actually just paired with a very good smoke. We've seen going. I haven't seen too much aggression. Boomich has been trying to suppress them with some like persistent warbangs water, but every time, as soon as Simon decide they want the site, it seems to become theirs. Yeah, the B-bomb site is looking very good for them. I mean, one player going down. That's Norbert. The man who cracked things open with the Desert Eagle gave them some footing towards the B-bomb site, and that's all they needed, it seems. He will be the impact player of the round, considering that he only got one. That's quite impressive, and what a shot it was. Flamey trying to get that opening pick, but got a lot more than he bargained for, that's for sure. 5-4. Simon Gaming right back in it now. The money was looking woeful before. Yeah, Mo can't believe his luck. He goes from having $150 to an AK and full util. Can't ask for more. Appreciates the drop, that's for sure. And uh -huh. now at some point, if you're Simon Gaming and you keep going B and you keep getting in, you will assume that Na'Vi will change their CT setup, but they're not. They're doing the same stuff. It's two players over towards A. Mo's prepared for this. He was expecting a play like that from Electronic, and now already a free opening frag has been gifted to them. They don't have to do anything else now. They can regroup, hold the default, see if any CTs overstay their welcome and uncharacteristic miss. Simple court in between his movement and oh. aim, and what is Neil and up to? <laughs> yeah, that one can't be part of your default. Don't try that one at home. Nice. Not safe for work or home, to be honest with you. So uh, either way, they still have the man advantage, but uh, some high-flying antics there from the top rope. Yeah, he was trying to RKO him out of nowhere. <laughs> so 
Boomage, he fancies a go now. Oh, he still hits the shot. Norbert finds another entry onto those B players. I'd get, look, I'd get bored having to sit there and just watch that, hoping someone would peek. So the patience on Norbert to be ready and rare and for that one is huge. And now they find themselves in a three on five situation. <sighs> We're going to need some simple magic. We certainly are. Here's the step. Completely blinded, but still stands his ground. A lot of steps. He's going to find the first, anticipating the trade, and he's caught him. That's the simple stuff. And he does indeed make it look easy, too. Sent packing back towards the B site. Norbert's got space. Perfecto's going to spot him, but he doesn't get a chance to adjust. And now suddenly, Simon Gaming, it looked dire. It looked like Simple had done enough, but they've got space into the site. Where's the bomb? It's wow. already crossed. This is actually looking like a very good overpass so far for Simon Gaming. Bear in mind, they're up against the world number one right now. And this is actually looking Ooh. impressive. A wall bang is delivered. Norbert to convert it. He'll get both the kills in the end there. Four kills for the big man as we get six to four. It has to be an eco, I'd imagine. Look at the money starting to get into a very uncomfortable spot for Na'Vi. They are being truly tested out there. And this is one of those games where they look super aggressive or they're being overzealous. This is actually just a very solid performance so far. Here's the problem, though. When Simple does this, Oof. you should probably win the round, right? I, I know they'd so. already lo lost two opening frags at that point, and obviously Norbert had been able to sneak through Monster. But he just le leveled the playing field for them, right? There, he just go, well, this round is now winnable because of Simple getting two kills. Unfortunately, nobody else on the team able to get anything done. And now they find themselves with another hero rifle in play. So let's see. How much impact can the superstar have? All very quiet for now. Mm. And the grenade does a boatload of damage towards Electronic. Down to 32. Same story for Perfecto, really, as well. Simple. If he's going to have any sort of impact, it has to be in the next few seconds. Challenges, and now he's surrounded, but this is where he can thrive. Not for now, though. Kios takes him down. The danger man removed, and they've got a five versus three. They can put the brakes on now. They just want to recalibrate. Work out what the reaction is from the CTs with Norbert. Happy to challenge once again. Discovers two CTs at the B bomb site and stays alive as well. That's very important. He's alone right now. Doesn't want to offer up an AK-47. Survival is very key. Yeah, and you could say the same for Boomage, but he's only got a P250. Charged up long. If he gets Kios, it's a it's a 1v1. It's a jewel he's hoping to get, but not going to be an easy one. And no armor. Yeah, gets shredded. Neilan just tapping all of the possibilities before making sure that bomb goes down safely. Did you guys have like any in your either your scenes or yeah. in in your in your friendship groups, or was there anything big in the UK that probably I missed? Like, was there like a saying that you wish still like kind of existed, like a single word type thing or a phrase? I still love you peak, you lose. Okay. You peak, you lose. Was that was like one a, of your binds. That, right? was, that was a bind that a, a player called Leesky did, but it kind of spread around COD because it, it pissed so many people off. That was a good uh, one. What can you do was one that I saw Rush talking about, the WCYD. We used to use that acronym. What can you do okay. when you're beating someone? You're like, what can you do? Okay. I used to be very good at annoying people with emojis. Speaking about those, I could do the, the crying, smiling face. So it's a crying oh, face, a smiling, you know what I mean? Sure. I know you get a cheesy kill on someone, yeah. and you type it, spray on the floor, get the spray out. <laughs> Do a smiley face in the chat. Really pissed Talking them off. of spraying, yeah. Chad, we forgot to tell you the purple setup, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah. He, he he drops purple love hearts around the map as, he, as he's every fragging. Kill. <laughs> purple hearts everywhere. Leave <laughs> my my calling card. Can you take some screenshots tonight? I'm gonna or? do. I'm gonna maybe put a video compilation together. I think. Okay. Really, really show it off. I'm gonna add to the collection, right? Round it all up. When do you see the MP9, Chad? It oh, you wouldn't believe. It's beautiful. Like it's the best thing I've ever seen next to that shop. Fantastic work. <laughs> Simple, we're back into the action now. Less of the skins, and uh, we'll see a five on four. This is much Ooh, better for me. And a little nade set up here. I this like could it. do damage. Will it get the kill, though? It's looking promising and just down to 29. It looked perfect. Just not quite enough. Kios has already found electronic. He's got a lovely little nade to smoke off the front of Long. Simple's ahead of it, though. Oh, Kios, you are surely screwed here. He'd have to get... Oh, the perfect timing, and he does. I think Simple was playing anti-flash. He may have heard a pin pulled, but he looked away just at the wrong moment. And now space again found for Simon's T-side. I was questioning how this was even going to be competitive yeah. for Simon again. Maybe I should have been questioning how this was even going to be competitive for Na'Vi because their tendencies on the B bomb site are constantly being looked at and toyed with by Simon. They're ready for the boosts. They know the, the positions that they like to play. They're harassing with Molotovs, hey cheese. And now they're just peeling him out of the server one man at a time. Yeah, you can see why Simon have picked this map. He's actually looking quite good for them. And this is a, a big game for Na'Vi as well. First map, 
The so, fact that he's just quaking yeah, in his boots. Say, not to these boys, guys. No. I can't lose to them. Let's have a look at his stats while we're here, shall we? Perfecto, yikes. Three and eight right now. Flamey, same story. A bit of dead weight for Flamey last month or so, Chad. He hasn't looked his best, has he? Yeah, he is the second highest rated for them in this tournament so far, but he still hasn't looked like he's, you know, back to full force. He's playing. been hot and cold. He's been um, very much, uh, It's either you either got a one or a zero. He's been a binary performer for Na'Vi. Big fan of Katy Perry as well. Yes, certainly. Where did she go? Where did she Was go? She's still making music. I don't, I don't think know. you need to make music. Once you've been like a kind of a international superstar pop star for like a couple of years, I think you're pretty much set for life. So why are we still working? Yeah, good question, <laughs> man. <laughs> And this was the third shot Kios got. He's been having a great game. That was his 13th frag as well. Locking down the retake with an AWP. Not easy, especially at 6 HP. But we're into the round 13. It certainly does look unlucky for Na'Vi as they've been forced to swallow their pride and go for the half buy. They uh, will see what's available the M4. <clears throat> Perfecto. If he is going to step up, this would be a perfect opportunity to do so. We need to see at least two kills from them in the standard chart. They've got a couple of smokes, one kit. And Boomage. And we're pushing up towards Shaw, but you can see Simon Gaming using the buddy system here, flashing each other in, having trade potential as well. I say that it is the USP that gets the first frag, but it should be made up for by Neelan. If he gets this kill, called around, done. And there it is. It's going to be a lot of damage inflicted. Maybe the Spectre can say a little bit more about the rounds, but it's electronic and simple now, holding towards the B side of the map, and they could be ending up there. That could bait them into Perfecto's rifle. They do know Perfecto is traditionally a B holder here, but. With how good their utility usage has looked, I was going to say he shouldn't go. be able to do too much. Yeah, he hasn't got a smoke. He wishes he did. He can't really cross back. The flash would have enabled them to cross on it had he known. Instead, he'll wait it out. A lot of pressure on Perfecto's M4 here. Simon Gaming, they know there's only one rifle in play, and they still want to fight. Does get the trade, is simple. And his Deagle doesn't go last much longer. Kriaz is on one today. He hasn't hit too many shots. It's Kios and Kriaz. It get, can get confusing. If they finish B, Electronic can win this round. The low HP of Neil, and, it, and there's a kit on the floor we can see just ahead of him. Electronic can steal the round away. Bomb goes down, doesn't swing just yet. Looks for his opportunity and one that is not realized. A nice idea there, was hoping to snatch away one kill, catch the bomb planter as he came off the C4 there, but wasn't meant to be. 9-4, this is actually looking very good now for Simon Game. Remember, it's a CT-sided map on their pick as well. They might be converting this quite comfortably. Yeah, I think it now would be a good time as any, actually, to remind everyone of the, the conversation that pre-match. Chad, at one yeah. point, was saying, so with two months and completely changing their language to English and two months integrating two new players into your roster up against the world number one, it's hard not to call this a, a one-sided affair, but it yeah. seems that Simon Gaming have managed to get under Na'Vi's skin. I'm not certain if it's just a slow start from Na'Vi. We know historically when they start tournaments, they can be slow starters, but I thought they were kind of done with that since Perfecto would come in and they had changed the system and Blade was behind them as the coach. Or it could just be Simon Gaming, uh, the best team in the world on overpass. <laughs> yeah. Or, or they're just playing really well right now. So let's, we'll probably go with the last one. Let's go with that one for now, because uh, at the moment, the overpass win rate is 33%, with yeah, losses to Hard Legion, Smash, Endpoint, Virtus Pro, Movie Star Riders, Heretics, <laughs> Spirit, on. Hard oh. Legion again. So there's a lot of losses on Overpass. In fact, they've only won, uh, well, hang on, maths, maths is hard. It was 12 games, four. They won four. Four go. of 12 games. And they're currently up nine to four against Na'Vi. So nothing makes sense anymore. Not really. It's been that way for a while now, though. Yeah, a little bit. Simple does have the AWP for now, so it's another strong buy. They're going to need these last two rounds here, I would say. And Simple goes for the first pick at the T-steps, but denied anything. The smoke for the cross. They'll get across safely, and we'll see whether this is another B finish. They've been hammering it home on this side of the map. Finding so many kills. A bit of aggression from Na'Vi. Hasn't looked necessarily successful for them. Norbert, though, with double digits. Looking for any more jumping players here. Ooh, safe spot found. No spreading and Perfecto forced to use his smoke. That's a, definitely a sound cue that they can work with. They throw a nade on top of him as well. It, unfortunate not to do too much more damage. There's a four-man lean towards this monster tunnel. They want to contest it. 
I think they know if someone is playing that position, what setup they're going for. So they've obviously done their homework very well. You could see that we're trying to actually isolate the right-hand side of Monster there, and then they were smoked off and had to think better of it. But they're very, very locked on into how Navi want to approach the CT side. That is for sure. Yeah, definitely done their homework. Flamey waiting for this frag, and nice little duck from Norbert to make that as tiny of a target as possible. This nade looks promising from Flamey. Should take them down a slow them down, doesn't do any damage, and instead it's going to be Perfecto to open up the proceedings. Another miss. That one's going to hurt. Flamey needs to hit the quickie, and he does. A second chance, and Kriaz can't believe his luck. Simple, finding an equalizer, and then another one. Puts him into a clutch that he totally can win. A one versus three, essentially. Well, it will be Kriaz remaining here. 20 seconds, and he will be trying to get the bomb down here, but Simple applying a lot of pressure. Met by the bullets of that AK. This could be Kriaz winning yet another round. It's double digits from the board oh, for Simon Kriaz. Gaming. He's got 14k. I'll give him that one. <laughs> Did he, got, no, did he miss the weapon? <laughs> he didn't get any guns. Oh. He was looking for the orb. Well, yeah, like I said, I guess it is the final round. They're absolutely fine. And Na'Vi, probably not. Less than 4k across the board here. It's going to be a CZ for Boomage, for Mass, UMPs, MP9s, you name it. They've got it. Everything but the heavy artillery. No orbs or M4s here. And this is looking very good from 11-4 finish. But these are some of the more difficult rounds to pick up here. It means that uh, Na'Vi will certainly be a loose cannon entering the final round. They know they have to be a little scrappy. And uh, there's the replay of him not getting a weapon, but as we mentioned, not a big deal. Kriaz finds the 1v1 versus Simple. Wow. Looking for the 11-4 half. Simon Gaming's T-side and overpass has been a scorcher. And as Henry's outlined, this one is not going to be the very best foot for Na'Vi to be putting forward. The only one they can, though. It's always a good feeling when everyone can treat themselves to their favorite pistol. So we've learned that Kriaz is a Tech-9 guy. Neelan's more of a P250 penchant, and uh, a little deagle for Mo for the style points. Haven't seen too much of that Mo AWP that we were talking about, of course. Let's not forget the major champion. He has yet to uh, make an impact. He took quite an extended break, though. From As far as I remember, I remember him taking to Twitter saying, uh, six-month hiatus, looking to get back into competitive play. So you can't really be too surprised that it's taken a little bit of a hit. Needs no one's home. Boomich can now continue to play that same spot. A boost for Simple looks very promising, but the Molotov will force them to change their plans. Look at Electronic. Ice in his veins. He holds the line. Part of me feels like Electronic's timed out. Because he didn't move for that molly? Yeah, and he's still there. Electronic, are you here? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, Kriaz is now on the other team. So yeah, he must have disconnected. Okay, so there's no... There's no... Yeah. They've lost their fifth. We've lo they've lost a player. And there was damage dealt. So as far as I understand the rules, unless Simon Gaming want to restart, this will just have to stand. Well, Simple will try his best to pull the round back in their favor. It is currently a three versus four. Ignore the GUI for now. We are going to see whether Simon Gaming converts. It's going to be the empty to defend here. 45 seconds. And a commitment is coming through. Flamey trying to avoid the grey screen of the smoke. Can he upgrade to the AK-47? No. Doesn't feel comfortable. Tucks himself in the corner. And now it's actually going to be Norma pulling a frag oh back. Oh, my three God. He does this so many times. And Kriaz has caught another. That frag from Boomich is everything. But now he knows that the space has been found on B. Where's the bomb? It's on Mo's back, and he's heard the retreat of Boomich, so he'll be trying to scarp her over there. Space being taken by Norbert in the meantime as well. Boomich, probably a little bit late for this one. He's got no utility. Norbert is deep behind enemy lines as well. Nice bomb plant coming through. They've got a flashbang. Mo to defend with the orb. Boomich shouldn't win this, but I'll be very impressed if he can. He would need to find the cleanest of kills. Yeah, this first one is the hardest of the two. Yeah. Oh, his crosshair was there. I had a feeling, but no. Yeah, no one expected this, let me tell you. Maybe Simon Gaming did. They chose this map, and currently it's looking very good, but they do switch over to the T side now. Na'Vi can still win this game. Plenty of comebacks have been done on overpass before. On the CT side now, I'd say it's a bit of a must-win pistol, or at least the second round is, as we'll get into it now. Nealon to challenge towards top of middle. Spots a few players there. Confirms it's not a B rush, at least, so they can maybe peel a player back. There's a real opportunity as well for Na'Vi here if they do convert and are able to stay steady on the Ecos, get to that first gun round. They could actually throw in a lot of fakes here. Now that we've learned that Simon Gaming are communicating in English, that's something that could throw them for a little bit of a loop on their CT side. That high intensity of communication when executes are coming in or you hear players stampeding your direction. That's where Na'Vi could potentially capitalize on the little details. So here we have Boomich. Still planting his feet towards middle. Doesn't want to commit just yet. They have a smoke, couple of flashes. And one Molotov, as I mentioned in the first half, it's usually B. 
it seems to be the main point of contention in these pistols because you can Molotov towards the barrel, smoke heaven, and that's usually enough. Flashbang off towards shore though, allows Boomer to get out of the connector. Spots one, sends them packing, a nice shot from both teams here, four and four. Looking promising. Only Mo holding the sight, but he holds that shot and holds his nerve, gets it. Krias as well onto Boomich. Looks like Na'Vi will have nothing left by the time they actually get into the site. Now being pushed down, it's Mo with a triple kill. It's first real announcement of his presence here in the server, and it's a big one. Well, there we have it. We are going to have the pistol landing in favor of Simon Gaming. No bomb planted. So it does beg the question, do you force by now a Deagle Armor or go for the AKs in the third? Most teams will lean towards the latter. Uh, but it does mean Sammy Game will go 13-4 up before Na'Vi can post another round here. So they will take the eco. One flash, a couple of upgraded pistols there with Deagles and PT-50s, but generally speaking, this is an eco. Simple does get a helmet, so Interesting. looking to cause some damage here. He's also got the Desert Eagle as well. Bit of a master with the weapon. He kind of has to do it himself at the moment, guys. He's yeah. on 17 kills, 90 ADR. His teammates all have less than 10 frags. Yeah, Effecto not really shining against his former team. He's still on 5 and 12 here as Norbert. He starts lighting him up. Got himself a couple of kills. That's going to be the bomb down as well. And just simple remains. He hasn't been touched Jesus. until now. It's the MP9 that lands two deadly headshots there. 13-4. And they could oh. actually have AKs here. But with Simple's investment, they will have to settle with it a Galil for him at least. Okay, I think there's a lot of uh, energy in the Simon camp right now. If I was to, if I was to take a guess, I reckon their comms are fire. Yeah, they're probably up for it right now. Everyone's like Google it. translating, like let's get them, guys. <laughs> like making sure they've got all their hype phrases down. We got uh, a big win on the cards for the first map here potentially. Of course, three rounds can be very difficult and elusive when you're playing against a team of Na'Vi's caliber. Let's see what Norbert and Mo have got for us in store with a rather aggressive stance. Got to be careful of that push. And they choose to back away. Early aggression and falling back. It is a necessity for the CT side, and they've done it relatively well so far. Nealon, however, is very extended. That nade, not the smoke I was hoping for. He will still overstay his welcome. He's got a smoke, though, and that's now the dream. Electro can't do much, might even be sent back packing. Electronic in the meantime taking some space toilets. Electronic hasn't wowed us as of yet, but certainly has the potential to do so. His AK-47 is brilliant. Hasn't necessarily shown us what it's made of as of yet, but in towards the bathroom as he goes, and no CTs looking for the shadow. So a chance there, a guaranteed frag. Not the flashiest, but he gets it done. It's the opening kill for Na'Vi. And pretty much every round is must win at this stage. Can't afford to give much more away. Nilan's been tagged, and Perfecto, he might be caught off guard here. Perfect Molotov. That will force them out. But a smoke to keep the hold, and Kiaz... Oh, Kriaz, excuse me. He's got such a good line for this. He doesn't need to do much. He can just stay crouched. If he walks out, he'll be visible. With 30 seconds remaining, he'll actually get on, and that's a fantastic opening kill for the CT side. They've taken a lot of damage on route, so Na'Vi still have a fighting chance here, but what have they got left? A single smoke, no flashes. Oof, that's Simple ballsy. Simple Galil, he won't nail that first shot. Mo just crossing knife out. My God, that scared me. Never mind him. Attention drawn, Simple's back turned, and he bides his time for the strike. Not quite as precise as he needed to be, but it does enable Mo bomb to get down. the frag. And with a bomb loose, this round is won. Perfecto could even die after time. He's fighting on long. Looks like he's safe and sound, but damage done. That's 14 for Simon Gaming. The rough investment into the round meant they had nothing left there. Even with the opening frag, you can see they had nothing to commit towards the A side with. They had a single smoke. It wasn't even deployed and taken down with 20 seconds remaining. Just run out of time on the clock. And that is something we said a lot about Na'Vi when they struggle, Chad. It seems when yeah. they're losing, uh, they focus too much on the defaults and have no time left to actually do anything with their guns. I have no idea what Na'Vi are doing, really. Like, I, I, I'm just a little bit perplexed. It doesn't seem like any of their individuals are up for it today other than simple. Shots aren't being hit. Looks a little bit lackadaisical in its approach. We know we've spoken to Blade before in the past, and he says it's yeah. hard to get the hype in the room because everyone's at home at the moment, but... Simon Gaming seem to be having no trouble doing it. No, they, they certainly seem hungrier, that's for sure. This game means a lot to them, and Na'Vi really haven't showed up as of yet towards Overpass. Luckily, Dustu coming up as the second map. We should see a better look. They are considered to be the best Dustu team in the region. And the opening kill from Kriaz. He's looking for map point, and it's looking very comfortable here, chaps. Bear in mind, this is a map point as well, where Na'Vi haven't fully invested in it. So got two grand on Electronic and Simple. Ah. They're hoping they can win this round with just the pistols, but... 
That looks like a far cry from reality now. Certainly does. If Perfecto loses his rifle, it's going to be salt in the wound. Nice challenge from Boomich. Right there beside him, distracting the crosshair, enables him to find not only a kill, but a rifle. Going to be difficult to do too much more with it, though. They do have Kevlar. They'll likely want to get that rifle on someone with a bit more health. There is an electronic sitting there who looks like a prime candidate for it. Not going to be making that choice. Instead, just going to get their utility out. This one's straight for the bin. Mo's holding the tight line toilets. The only vulnerability here is long. That's being held for now by his teammate. Nice hold, no, but will shut him down. And so that means Mo can focus all of his attention on this line and the timing just as Boomich was on his way into the site. Falls back to a more passive line. Where's that bomb, though? It's on simple. It's yet to get to the site. They're faking Again. this. Oh, dude. They're You're trying so to go right. B. He's not going to... He dies and it's over. He, he's definitely dead. He's not winning this round. He's 15 pounds. So if this scoreline continues and we find a 16-4, that will be... I'm looking through all of the matches right now since Perfecto has joined the roster. It'll be the worst loss they've ever had. Uh, they're, they're <laughs> Against his former team. <laughs> Against his former team. Yeah, so if this is a 16-4, I, I will have to double, triple check. But I'm pretty certain that their worst loss before this would have been a 16-5 against Astralis. So quite the comparison when you talk about Astralis and Simon Gaming. Oh, boy, man. I mean, like, the human element of this is just, it's, uh, it does add a, a whole new taste to the video game match we are watching as I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're well. I hope you're hydrated for those of you watching at home. You guys too, I guess. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I hope you're having fun. I I'm enjoying myself. Um, I'd like to see the game warm up a little it bit. It would Hopefully be fun. Dust 2 will deliver because this is just not good enough from Na'Vi, I'm afraid. I think they would say the same thing. Th yeah. Perfecto dead in connector. Didn't even have a chance to take a duel. So he gets taken out with a lovely boost from Neilan as they peered on through. And it just feels like Navi are going to kind of simmer out of this game. Yeah, they put it on the uh, the lowest heat, and everything's just evaporated. There's nothing left. I left the candles on the other day when we came in, boys, and I accidentally left oh. one on the kitchen benches. Okay, is that a yellow card? Uh, it, it should be, but I've had a lot of experience <laughs> with candle wax before. <laughs> it should be, so he's just been given a warning this time. Yeah, so what happened was the candle did melt all over the top of the to uh, countertop, but... What's, you, the, what's the trick? You get the kettle, you boil it, you get a, a, a pot, and you put the pot on top of the on top of the wax. Wow. It warms it up. You can wipe it off. Ah. Good stuff for you guys at home in case you make a booby like me. I also once made a bit of a boo boo, but it wasn't as bad as that because simple grabs one. Now we have three on four. Still a doable. Chance. Yeah, absolutely doable. And I actually found some access towards the B side as well, but smoke down towards short makes things a little bit more complicated for them. And Kios, he knows they're coming, but he's in an awful position. It's wow. still good for one. Kriaz, that might be enough here. The incendiary, the HE combo as well, is going to do a ton of damage with the bomb tie oh. here. The bullets somehow don't connect. Oh, how are they still alive here? Finally, he goes oh. down. Looks like we're all done here, boys. One more kill will do it. He's flaming to keep the dream alive. His ninth frag found. He's going to need two more, and it's not going to be good enough. Wow, we've done it there, ladies and gentlemen.